Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, sorry I've taken so long to uh, post this second video. Some of you guys have been asking about the uh, iPod controls. Well, I was using my iPhone to uh, film this, so I couldn't put my iPhone in there and show you. So, I had to go find another iPod, which I finally found, thanks to you guys asking. Um, sorry for the lighting. It's very crappy outside right now. So, I'm going to try and if I hold my hand over this to kind of adjust the lighting a little bit. You should be able to see a little bit better. <clears throat> so iPod functionality so it's it's actually pretty fast with an iPod with my iPhone I actually have um, iTunes match on it's a little bit slower to load but let me show you with an iPod first and then uh, if you guys want to see what it's like with an iPhone with iTunes match and um, and Pandora controls I'll just borrow somebody else's uh, phone or something to record it anyway so stereos on some people are pointing out how cool it is to see your uh, your voltage for your battery it's kind of cool as well, I think so. Um, so we'll just hit the uh, the source button here. We're gonna go to USB one, which is my iPod. Okay, so here's our interface so far. Uh, it'll give you the artist and the song name first. You can switch that around, but first let me show you the controls, and then I'll show you the different uh, sorting options that you have. So if I hit my um, magnifying glass here to search, you can see the menu pops up right away. I have playlists like you guys were asking, artists, albums, songs, podcasts, genres, composers, audiobooks. So everything that your um, your iPod shows you, you can get on here as well. And uh, that was me just turning the, the little knob here, which is cool. So if I go to playlists, you see how fast the next menu loads. So I can go to whatever I want. I've got all my playlists here. And as soon as I hit play starts playing right away so there's no lag with a regular iPod um, go back and even search for I don't have uh, a, who was it team green I think it was uh, was saying got like 11,000 songs in my library I have about 23,000 on this iPod not nearly that much um, I could load more up but I'm I used the same iPod on my previous head unit and it seems to be just as fast <clears throat> so far so the thing that I used to have trouble with is uh, on songs, it's uh, I guess the biggest list of things that you can look at. So let's take a look and see how fast it populates as I scroll. So on my old one, if I were to do this and just kind of scroll real fast, it would take a while. It would just be blank spots and you'd have to pause and wait for, for it to populate. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing I like about the search features on this uh, unit, if I go to artists, and um, I think it might do it in other things too, but if I scroll fast enough, it starts giving me the alphabet. So I can easily get to, you know, if I want to go to M in the middle of the alphabet, instead of going backwards, I could just hit push down on my button here, and uh, it brings me to M, which is awesome. So I thought that was a, a great improvement. Um, as far as some of the other stuff, people were asking about the automatic time alignment and EQ. Uh, I just hooked up the rest of the system that I was putting in uh, that I was mentioning in the previous video and I'm pretty happy with the the auto EQ and time alignment. Uh, there's some fine tuning I have to do but if you take a look my EQ is totally flat and uh, I don't know how well this iPhone can pick up the, the bass and sound but... So it might sound a little bright because uh, I don't know if this mic can pick up the bass, but real quick, I'll just show you what I got going on. So I put the two 12-inch JBLs in the back. I got to clean up the wiring a little bit, hide it a little bit better, but that's the uh, the basic idea. And then I got new JBLs all around. Uh, tweeters up top, uh, five and a quarters in the door. Six by nines back here. Uh, all new wiring, brand new RCA cables running from the head unit to the amps, uh, from the amps to the speakers, brand new wiring, thick gauge, 12 gauge wire. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any other questions about anything, certainly let me know. One more quick thing for the, the PRS for those who are interested in it. So I got my iPod plugged in right now. What's, uh, what's kind of cool is that. Um, battery bar right there 
that's the battery level of your uh, iPod that's plugged in. So it actually will tell you how far it's charged and stuff like that, um, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to push this <clears throat> display button here. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, check out how the information changes. So right now it has uh, artist and song title. You can do artist and album. You can do album and song. You could do, looks like, just song title and the progress bar of how far it is in the song. Or you can get rid of all of the top information and have the artist, the name of the track, and the album title. So that goes for this, um, doing it on Pandora, which I'm filming with my phone or else I'd show you. Um, the station data sometimes pops up like this. I'm not sure how to do that, to be quite honest with you. Um, yeah, so if anybody else has any questions, certainly let me know. I'll see if I can uh, figure it out with this guy. And if you guys know how to make the station data pop up all the time so that way you can tag it, you let me know.